Hello friends, we are still not employed by a fang company, so let's not stop lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to do a linked list problem called merge two sorted list. So this problem has been asked in tech giants like Amazon, Facebook, Microsoft, Apple, Uber, Google, uh, Bloomberg, ByteDance, which is TikTok, and then companies like Yahoo, LinkedIn, Indeed, and Roblox, and also IBM. Plus, uh, recently in news, Twitter. So I am paying my utmost attention. I hope you also enjoy the video. This is a lead code easy problem and it is also one of the most liked problems on lead code. Uh, if we understand the problem statement, we are basically given the heads of two sorted link lists, uh, list one and list two, and we need to merge these two link lists in one single sorted list. So this is the important part that it has to be sorted and in the end, we need to return the head of the merged linked list. Okay, let's try to understand this problem with an example. So over here, we are given two lists, list one and list two, and we can see that both of them are increasing in ascending order. And now we need to create a merge list from this. So this is the merge list that has been created. Even if you observe the merge list, the ascending uh, property is maintained. So which means that the merge list is also sorted. And how it is sorted, it basically it has taken values from whichever the nodes that had the smaller value. So in this case, these first two values were one, one. So we can put any, choose from any one, right? Now the second value, so, and now we are done with this value one and one over here. Now we need to take care of this two and three. So when we compare this two and three, we find that, okay, this value number two is actually smaller. So that's why we add a two node over here. And now we are done with this one. And now we still have to compare this three with this four, because remember, we are not done with this three yet. So we identify that this three is actually smaller. So in this case, we are done with this three and we add the three node over here in the, our merge list. Now the values are four and four. So again, we just enter the values four and four, and now we should be done with all of them. And this is the new list that we have created. And in the answer, we need to return the head value. So we would be returning this value as the part of the answer. So this is the expectation of the problem. Let's see that what could be the potential solution. So let me draw quickly draw just one more list and we'll see that what should be the approach. Let's see that what should be the merge list at the end. So I'm denoting this as M. Now uh, we are going to compare two values at any given moment and uh, we are going to have two pointers. So let's say le left one and left two, we are going to keep track of them. So over here, both the values are same. So we can enter any value. So we will add one over here and then again one over here because both the values are same. So you can put condition to choose anyone. Now we are done with both of them. And because we are done with both of them, we'll have to update the values of this L1 and L2. So we are going to update its values. So now this becomes our L1 and this becomes our L2. Again, we do the comparison. Now in this case, we find that, okay, this value is actually smaller. So because this value is smaller, we are done with this element essentially we will add that value to our merge list and because in the list two we found that that value was smaller we'll update the list two pointer to go to its next element so we'll do a jump like this and now this becomes our list two and again we will compare list one and list two elements so in this case we find that value at list one is actually smaller so we'll add it to our solution and uh, again we are done with this one now so we'll update the point, left one pointer. So left one pointer would fall over here. And now again, we will compare both of these values. So in this case, we find that, okay, this value is actually smaller. So we'll add a, one more node to our merge list four, and again, update the value of list two. So list two actually goes over here and uh, this is done. So this is list two. And now we compare this value with this value. So over here, we would find that, okay, this five is actually smaller. So now we will have to update the value five over here. Now, because we have updated the value five over here, if we do a ju next jump for this list one, we identify that this node is actually null. So the moment we identify that there exists a null node, there is no point of us moving forward in this direction because we are done. And essentially, whatever the remaining values are still pending in the L2, they directly needs to be appended on uh, this merge list. Why? Because so far all the elements we have entered, they were entered based on the some sort of re relative uh, comparison. But once we are done with uh, one loop, 
there is nothing for us to compare so because there is nothing for us to compare whatever is the remaining portion we can directly add over here so we'll uh, over here we only have one node 8 so we'll directly add the node 8 over here but even if we had some other nodes over here they all would be directly appended without any issues i hope this makes sense and this actually would be our final solution uh, now what are what would be the tricky part in this one the tricky part in this one would be that because in this merge linked list we are iterating over here so at the end we would be somewhere at the last position and remember we need to return the head node so what we were what we will do is we are going to use a trick we'll create some dummy node and this dummy node would be actually as the head node we will just assign some random value whatever one two whatever this does not make any difference and the next value of this would be pointing to the merge dot next and that would be the trick so at the end we will just return the next value of this dummy node and then that would be the start point of our merge list so if we calculate the time and space complexity in this case the time complexity would be big o of n actually because uh, we have we will have to iterate over all the nodes that are given in both no list one and list two so actually it would be big o of m plus n where m is the total number of uh, nodes given in list one and n is uh, list two but in general we can write it as big o of m plus n and in terms of space complexity we are only using couple of extra parameters to store the value and anyways we will have to create this merge list so we wouldn't consider that to be an additional space being used so we can say that we are actually solving this in constant time and this would be the uh, most optimal solution so first of all we will create a list node and we will just call it as dummy and uh, for this dummy node actually we are going to use this dummy node to keep track of the first element inside our merge list now we will create another list node and we will call it as a merge list so just let's just call it merge and we are actually going to initialize it with dummy value and now uh, we are going to run a while loop now we are going to run a while loop up until the point that when we have elements in both list one and list two so at any point we encounter that list one or list two either of them is empty we are going to uh, break out of this while loop and inside the while loop we will have to check that which one is a smaller value and suppose list one is uh, smaller than list two value so in that case we will have to add it to our merge list So now we will add uh, the value to merge list but we are actually going to add it to the next element inside the merge list and you will come to know that why we are doing it. So let's just do that and now we will also have to update the value of list 1. So this should be list 1 and now let's update the value of list 1. Okay. And if that is not the case, which means that we will have to add the value from list 2. And after we break out from the loop, we will actually have to uh, see that which list still has values remaining. Because remember, at any point we encounter null in any either list 1 or list 2, we break out of the loop. Which means that there could be still uh, more elements that needs to be appended to this merge list and that should be taken from uh, whatever the list that is still not empty so we will just put a condition if list 1 is equal to null if that is the case we know that we will have to append the value of list 2 and if the, that is not the case which means that list 2 is empty and list 1 still has elements so we will add list 1 to our merge list and once that is done uh, we need to return the head of this merge uh, linked list but the problem is that now we are actually at the end of this merge list so how can we get the head of this well actually we can get the head of this is by using this dummy node that we created because remember that dummy is actually the start value of one and dummy dot next would be the value of merge dot next so that's why we actually have to create this additional node and uh, in the return 
we are actually going to return dummy dot head and uh, oh sorry dummy dot next and this should give us the head value so let's try to run this code okay looks like we made some mistake oh uh, we are not uh, we are not updating the value of merge element because if at every iteration the merge node also needs to go to the next element because we are already adding a one value to this merge linked list so now let's try to run the code okay seems like our solution is working as expected let's submit this and our solution is actually 100% faster than all the other Java solutions, so which is pretty good.